What's going on you guys? So this is a Dell Optiplex small foam factor, going to be reassembled. So first all I'll do is, I'm going to install back the power switch. It goes right here in the corner. Gets back on. Now what I'll do is I'm gonna lay it flat and I will take the motherboard. And install back the CPU. It's got a this has got a 6th gen i5 CPU, but it will support 6th gen or 7th gen. You can go either i5 or i7. Now what I will do is I'm gonna take like this and install motherboard back. And you have to align see that right here you have to align where the socket is for the cpu socket you have to align it so it doesn't move around now what i will do is i will install the screws back i'm gonna start from the bottom it's only hold by five screws Usually the teardown is a lot easier, but a reassemble is a lot harder. So don't forget guys. And it's gonna be installed one in here. Now there will be screw one in the corner here. And one right side. Now what I will do is I'm gonna go in the front. And what you're gonna do, don't forget, you're gonna connect the power switch back, the connector back to the motherboard. There's only one way you can connect it. Okay, let me look at it, I can't see it, okay. So it looks like, okay, yeah. There's only one way you connect it. Can't see it. Okay, let's see. Huh. So I gotta zoom in like this. Okay. So there's only one way you can connect it. Can you see it? Like that. Okay. So it's only one way. So you have to go like that. I can zoom in so you guys can see it. Now, what I will do is I'm going to go in the front, install the internal speaker back. And connect it back to the motherboard. Now, I'm going to take this plate right here, install it, and Take a screw. You can find it. Okay, where is it? And install it. Let's 
So this blade holds by one screw only. Now, what I will do is, I'm gonna go in front. And I'm gonna take a CPU cooler and I gotta take a napkin paper towel. Like this. And I'm gonna wipe it off first. Now, what I will do is, again, take a paper towel and you're gonna take a 91% rubbing alcohol and you're gonna wipe it off. I want that CPU also. So what I'll do is uh, I'm gonna take a thermal compound. Where is it? Can you see it? Okay. Okay, it's here. I'm using the Matt Cooler Master Ice Fusion. This one is uh, 200 grams. That's a lot. Thermal compound. And the thermal pad right here, the Grizzly I'm using thermal pad, they sell also on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description, you guys can buy it. Okay, so what I'll do is go like this. Not too much. Apply it. That's good enough. Now, what I'll do is I'm going to install it back and you're going to connect this. The fan, the fan, this, the, this is the four wire, four pin. Connect it back to the motherboard first. side like this And you're gonna double check. Okay. Now what I'll do is install the RAM back. And only you can install one way, don't forget. You see this right here? Like you have to, it's only one way you can't go install like this. It's only one way you can install it.
So the, the system RAM will support maximum is a 32 gigs, meaning it means 16 gig per each stick slot. So you can max out 32 gigs on it. DDR4, uh, non ECC RAM only. Now what I will do is install the NVMe.2 solid state drive. Now what I will do is install back the power supply. Now you're going to connect the six, six pin pin power and the CPU four pin power will be in the corner here. Mm -hmm. Now all you're gonna do is you're gonna take this wire and you see this got the metal clips here and clip them in. Also, you have to clip it in. You're gonna take a flathead screwdriver like this. Now, what I will do is I'm gonna install the PCI bracket here, in the top. And the video card. Right. Now what I'm gonna do is install back the optical drive. So the optical drive here, guys, is a 9.5 millimeter. DVD drive, but you can also upgrade to Blu-ray if you want, but they sell kind of pretty high price. So it's a nine and a half millimeter optical drive. You can get them in Blu-ray if you want. Now what I'll do is I'm gonna check. Okay, so what I need to do is install the cables back, say the cables. This, this is for the optical drive and the SATA power cable. I'm going to connect it back to the motherboard. And this is the optical drive here. Hold on, can't see, okay, so. And this would be the for the hard drive, extra storage. Now, what I will do is install back the hard drive cage here. And now I forgot. So you're gonna take like this, and you're gonna connect the optical driver here. SATA and power cable back like this and you install it now you're gonna go around like this and take a flathead screwdriver again now 
install back the three and a half inch hard drive. There's only one way to install like this. If you guys are asking about the hard drive, you can go four terabytes, eight terabytes, 10 terabytes, you can go extra storage. Uh, the Solar State Drive NVMe.2, you can go four terabytes if you want. You're gonna connect again, save and power cable, and install like this. And go around here like this again, the wires. Like that. It's complete. Now I'm gonna take the front cover, plastic, and install it. Check. Okay. Now what I'll do is be the last part. The side cover panel. And the way you close it, see right here, you gotta go like this. One way. So it'll be right there, don't forget, like that. It's always a tear down, it's a lot easier, but reassemble is a lot harder. So this is the hot looks the back, and this is the front. See you guys at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.